If you like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel. Hi, in this video, I'm going to share my tips about how you can clear New Relic Performance Pro certification. Though I had some few months of experience in New Relic, but still I have followed these tips to get it certified with New Relic. First thing, you need to register with New Relic for a free. So they will be giving a free trial where you can deploy the agents and you can learn yourself. So that is one way of learning. So the first thing is register with New Relic for a free trial and deploy a sample application, PHP, .NET or Java, whatever you wish, and do some ad hoc learning in the dashboard. So if you have experience with the Dynatrace or AppDynamics, so similarly, you can explore the New Relic stuffs here and there. That will give you a, a jump start with a New Relic UI and uh, what features you can see in the dashboards. The second way of learning is using New Relic University. So if you go to this link, learn.neurelic.com forward slash certification. So here, make sure you are reading the uh, about the certification. And one thing you must do to clear the certification is you need to go through this self guided courses, which are free and you can read it in New Relic University. So this New Relic University self guide course for the uh, New Relic is must to clear the certification. So this has around five to seven uh, sections. So each section has a video and about some uh, content and also each section has a quiz or challenges. So make sure that you are reading and watching the videos and attending the quiz or challenge. So when you attend the quiz or challenge, first time you might fail, but you need to keep going with the next section and repeat the course again till you score hundred percentage in the quiz. So this is what I have followed. So first time I scored 50 percentage and second time I scored a 70 to 80 percentage. Then I was staying at 90 to 100. So this will give you a confidence about how, uh, uh, what, what, how much you grasp, grasped for the uh, particular section. So do not try to remember the answer. So try to remember the concept behind it. So if you have a free trial, definitely you can do a lot of exploration in the uh, dashboard. So first time watch it with one X speed of all the videos. And second time you can increase the speed to 1.25 or 1.5 X so that you will get the agility to go through all the chapters. And main thing is you need to make sure you are good in the UI because there are questions like you need to uh, point out exactly which link you need to click or which option you need to select. So that is one thing you have to learn. So the dashboard view and uh, other uh, user interface you need to remember. And others, other, another important uh, thing is you need to remember the app decks. So app decks has some uh, two to three, I, I guess uh, four questions in app decks. So how you can uh, calculate the app decks and how many users are satisfied, tolerated, etc. So those stuffs you need to uh, remember. So there's a formula you need to make sure you are uh, uh, using the formula while answering the question. And another thing is how you can drill down the issues. Uh, what is the uh, uh, slowest query? How you will drill down to the slowest query? And how you drill down to the uh, maximum response time? And how you can uh, create a, uh, alert policies, uh, incident rules? Uh, how you can create a key, key transactions? How you can uh, uh, work with custom data with APIs? and a new relic rest APIs. So all the sections are important. So do not leave anything. You can score easily between 80 to 90 percentage in the uh, exam. So exam 
again it is pretty simple so first thing what you can do is you need to uh, select the certification here and click on view certification and here it will ask you to enter the name uh, email id and uh, other stuffs then you can get started with the uh, take the assessment uh, link so directly it will take you to this assessment and uh, you can start uh, answering the questions so you will get around 90 minutes to complete the assessment and the passing score is 80 percentage uh, or greater so you'll have three retries within 90 day period and the certification will expire after uh, two years so the assessment has multiple choice and multiple answers so make sure that uh, you are answering properly so if you have a, a single answer option radio button option you can eliminate the uh, the wrong answers easily then you can uh, select the right answer but in case of multiple choice or multiple answers uh, select all that apply or uh, true or false so that one will be uh, tricky so you need to focus on those uh, questions otherwise you will lose the marks and if you have time you can register for the uh, trainings or workshops in this link but uh, i took a couple days ago uh, at the time there was uh, there were no uh, such uh, training or workshops scheduled so if you have uh, ample time definitely you can register for the workshops and wait but uh, if you need it the certification immediately you can start with self-guided course and then you can clear the certification in one shot so i hope this certification is not an easy one or not a toughest one it is a moderate level of complexity and uh, not like AWS. So AWS was the first uh, one in the IT uh, industry. But Neuralic is kind of moderate complexity. I think you can clear it in one shot if you are thorough with the self-guided courses. And if you have experience with Neuralic, definitely no need to read the self-guided courses. You can directly uh, attend the certification. So this is my tips. So read once at least. Uh, and... Uh, all, watch all the videos and remember the UI this will be helpful and remember the Abdex formula and the REST APIs so these are the areas where you can score easily and uh, please let me know if you have cleared the certification and if you need any help please let me know in the comments definitely I will be helping you guys and thanks for watching have a great day if you like my tabs videos please subscribe to QA Insights channel